where are we now? Are we at the bottom? Should we be jumping in like crazy? Uh, where are we now in crypto? Uh, based on my research, um, I would say that we are uh, we are uh, so. The bull, this bull market in crypto started in November 2023, so uh, around one year ago. And uh, then we had a big uh, push up um, throughout March 2024. So March, April 2024, uh, there was a big pump and everything went up uh, sharply. But from, from, from April till now, so from April till now, half a year, you know, six months or seven months, nothing was happening. Uh, the crypto was just going down, you know, slowly. Uh, and um, uh, we could call this uh, some kind of time capitulation. Uh, people, you know, became nervous. People were selling. Uh, uh, people were afraid. Uh, and the market went down really sharply. But now uh, there are very clear signs uh, of a turnaround. And uh, I believe that the bull market in crypto is now continuing. And um, I just, in the last few, few weeks, I bought uh, a lot of crypto um, uh, for, for, my, for my personal portfolio. Uh, I also bought um, uh, quite a lot of Bitcoin with my uh, company cash reserve. Uh, so uh, I am, uh, I am, uh, you know, whenever I make money in my company uh, and I have a lot of, you know, additional profits, uh, then um, a part of that money goes into Bitcoin. So just uh, a couple of weeks ago, I bought a lot of Bitcoin uh, with cash reserves of my company uh, because I believe that uh, Bitcoin is a much uh, better store of value. Uh, for the long run compared to uh, having cash reserves, you know, in US dollars or in Canadian dollars or in euros or whatever, you know, uh, because this money is being um, uh, devaluated all the time. Uh, so money printing, money printer is uh, is uh, is um, uh, printing a lot of money uh, all around the world. And um, you need to be, uh, let's say, uh, on the right side of things, you know. Uh, because uh, this uh, devaluation of our currencies is a really, really terrible thing. Yes. So yeah, I believe. So if I summarize, I believe that uh, that we are still in crypto bull run uh, in in the bull market, uh, and I believe that now uh, we are at a point uh, where the market is giving us very clear signs um, that the bull market is continuing. Uh, and that the, uh, the next few months will be very, very positive. Now, is this a certainty? No, nothing is certain in the investing world. Otherwise, everybody would be a billionaire. Uh, but, you know, uh, we are talking about high probabilities. Now, you talk about Bitcoin being a really, really good store of value, certainly better than the US dollar or the euro. Yeah, sure. Hey, but what is its potential like? I don't think that Bitcoin could really go up more than maybe 2x, maybe 3x. It just seems to be limited compared to the potential of other coins. Yeah, sure. Other coins have greater potential, but also greater risk. <laughs> uh, so uh, Bitcoin, uh, if you ask me, uh, if, uh, uh, let's say, uh, if, I, if I make an investment for 10 years, uh, would I invest in Bitcoin or would I invest in any other crypto uh, token or coin uh, on the market? And I would say Bitcoin, because I am pretty much, uh, let's say, almost 100 percent sure that Bitcoin will still be there in 10 year time. But for any other crypto uh, project, uh, the, the risk is much, much, much greater. So uh, for the really long, long run, uh, I would I would say uh, Bitcoin is the safest one. And uh, also regarding the potential uh, people uh, we always think uh, in linear terms you know uh, we see the price of bitcoin being now let's say 65000 us dollars per bitcoin uh, and we think oh it, it it surely cannot go more than 2 or 3x you know uh, but uh, the thing is that the compounding principle um, over the long uh, time period uh, can um, you know can help grow this price to maybe a couple of hundred thousand maybe also to a million uh, in uh, in 10 year time you know or maybe even less you know so the thing is that we always think in linear terms because it's very hard 
hard to think in these exponential terms. Yeah. And, and uh, it's really hard to comprehend the compounding effect uh, of, uh, of, uh, of um, you know, small returns every single year and so on. So, yeah, I, I believe that uh, Bitcoin has a great potential uh, and uh, it's, um, let's say, pre, uh, in, in the crypto, crypto space, of course, it's the safest asset, you know, in the crypto space. Now, I've heard an interesting comparison. Since Bitcoin is called digital gold, whether it deserves yeah. to be called that or not, it nevertheless is that. Mm -hmm. And since Bitcoin has a market cap roughly one trillion yeah. and gold has a market cap of 11 trillion, like there's a, yeah. been 11 trillion dollars worth. I think it's even more now because the gold has been uh, has been going up uh, quite sharply. So I think it's, uh, I, I, I need to check that, but the, I think it's a bit more, but it doesn't matter, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, let's say 15 trillion. Then there's a case that could be made that, that uh, Bitcoin could equal the market cap of gold which means it could go up 10x or 15x which yeah, is yeah. huge and that that's what makes it the million dollar coin yeah uh, because um bitcoin is a is an is a uh, much newer asset than uh, than gold compared to gold uh, gold has been around for thousands of years yes. and bitcoin has been around for uh, let's say 14. not even 15 years yeah 14 years uh so uh, this means that Bitcoin is also more volatile, but this is normal, you know, for new assets, uh, it's normal to be more volatile. Um, and of course, uh, volatility also can bring you a very, very uh, good returns uh, over time, uh, because uh, if something is not volatile, then also um, this means that uh, that uh, the returns, the potential returns over the long time period are, are much uh, smaller, you know, are, are, are kept, you know. Uh, so uh, I, I see uh, Bitcoin volatility not as a bug, but as a feature. Uh-huh. Okay, yeah. good. Wow. Wow. Now, there's a coin that I've heard, and it's not a tiny market cap. It's in the top 20. It's Caspa, K A S P A. Yeah. I've heard it touted as better, way better than Ethereum and better than or equal to Bitcoin in its use case. And yet it's not listed as of right now on any major exchange, even though it's in the top 20. And, and maybe it is a candidate, a, a better deal than Bitcoin or Ethereum. So do you know yeah, there are there are many there are many coins or projects or tokens that uh, that can be a better deal um, compared to Bitcoin or um, Ethereum, you know. But you you can always invest uh, a part or a smaller part of your portfolio into other more aggressive things, you know. It, it's it, it's uh, sometimes it's worth it, you know. So uh, I'm also, you know, not not just in Bitcoin and Ethereum. Uh, my crypto portfolio is like uh, around thirty different projects, you know. Uh, so um, uh, yeah, I'm also betting on on uh, on uh, other projects in the crypto space. <laughs> Robert, you've been a friend for years. You brought me to your wonderful little country. Only yeah. country in the world that has love in its name, <laughs> Albania. And I really appreciate you and admire you for introducing me to that wonderful country. I really love it. And I love you. And I'm glad that you're available to be interviewed by me so that I can update my eager listeners <laughs> investing. Thank you so much. And the last word is yours. How, how can you help my clients or what would you like them to download or what would you like them to do yeah uh, so uh, yeah first uh, thank you for inviting me it was really a pleasure to to be here with you uh, i hope that i gave some good ideas to your listeners yeah. Um, maybe the next step would simply be to go to my website. Uh, I have quite a lot of blog articles that are really good. Uh, so robertrolling.com. Uh, and I have a lot of blog articles. And also there is an invitation to join my free webinar uh, where I dive deeper into my investing philosophy and uh, how can you outperform uh, the best professionals, uh, Wall Street professionals, without uh, taking excessive risks and without short-term trading. So, yeah, this would be the next step. Beautiful. Robert Rowley. That's Robert R-O-L-I-H 
dot com. Yeah, perfect. Thank you, Robert. Pleasure to reconnect with you. Thank you. Bye.